All right, it's time for a test drive. We've got the extruder up to 200 degrees Celsius. I've uh, cut the filament to a fresh tip. Now uh, this is adjusted, so yep, it springs pretty good. Now I've just got to be able to see. And it's a little bit dark in here. So we will, there we go. And we should be able to start to manually, and there we have it. <clears throat> Excellent. So it seems to be doing pretty well. What I like about this uh, open source printing software is I can extrude it for a little bit and we are looking pretty good. Okay, so I like to, and I think that the advice among a lot of people is to uh, calibrate these while the extruder is heated you can get quite a bit of expansion when that heats and I've got the uh, z-axis stopper cranked in pretty good because I, I really don't want to in fact what I'll do is uh, give it just one more turn as a precaution I don't want that banging into the print bed so let's send the z-axis home and since this can be uh, as much fun as watching paint dry, I'll uh, likely not record much of this. Um, I typically have this under there. In fact, oh, let's bring this up. It's really good for not paying attention. We're actually pretty close even still, so let me bring this back up a little bit. Let's see if we can. And that's that's too tight for my liking. I can move it, but I I want it to be snug, but not so snug that I can't um, move that move that paper back and forth with a, a just a little bit of resistance. Okay, I didn't want it to go that far, but that's okay. And. Well, for me, that's that's being there. So let me load. I'll tell you what, I'm going to find and load the five millimeter calibration steps. Put that through the slicer. Get it queued up, and I'll pick the video back up once I have it ready to print. 